on your green rocking chair by your bed. That would be so scary. He posted that picture and he said, so I moved the green chair out of my bedroom weeks ago. It's been in various parts of the living room ever since. I should probably get rid of it, but I'm not sure that would have any effect. Also, I'm going on vacation in Japan in three weeks, and I keep thinking if I can make it to my trip, this will all end, as dumb as that sounds. Guys, Adam is completely terrified of his apartment at this point. Dear David has been consistently haunting him on a regular basis in his apartment. He even moved apartments, and Dear David has continued to haunt him. He just wants to get out of there, and I don't blame him at all. David lost track of me once when I moved, so maybe if he believes I've left the apartment again, he'll leave me alone. Anyway, last night I bought a pet monitoring camera so I can keep an eye out on the cats while I'm overseas. It's basically a nanny cam that connects to Wi-Fi so you can check in whenever you want. It runs 24-7. It's sort of like paranormal activity he's got going on, guys. Cameras in the house and everything. This guy should honestly make a movie about his life. So then he posts a couple pictures. It says motion detected from blank and sound detection from blank. I'm assuming this is all from that pet monitoring camera he installed in his apartment. He says it also alerts you to sound and movement being an app. I blacked out the company since I doubt they want to be associated with ghosts. In any event, I decided to test it out this weekend. I was away from home one night so I set the camera up before I left. My phone pinged periodically through the evening alerting me to my cats running around playing normal stuff. So it is in fact actually working. Then around 11 it alerted me again and it detected motion but when I checked the feed of my apartment I didn't see anything. And guys if you didn't see part one basically Dear David starts a midnight exactly. His cats start acting up, looking at the front door, and over the last couple weeks for Adam, the time that his cats start freaking out at the front door has been getting earlier and earlier, all the way down till 10 p.m. now. I've watched the feed again, still nothing. I've watched it a third time, and I finally noticed something. So he posts a video right now. We're gonna just watch that right quick. This is apparently the monitoring pet system he installed. Let's see if we can see something here. Board. I don't see anything. No, Kevin, I want to watch this because I'm already... Watch the chair. I'm... Okay, so we're going to go back and we're going to re-watch it. Or we're going to watch the chair this time. I'm guessing he's talking about the green rocking chair he keeps seeing Dear David in. Oh my god, guys. How did I miss that? It's actually rocking, guys. Do you see the green chair rocking right now? What the heck, guys? That is creepy. Oh my god. I knew it couldn't be the wind because I haven't had the windows open at all this summer. I have AC and I like to keep it chilly. Me too, I like it really cold, I don't like to sweat. This apartment has no AC, so I absolutely agree with him. It's better to be cold than hot as heck in the summer. It was unnerving, but there wasn't anything I could do about it right then, so I flipped my phone off and tried not to panic. About a half hour later, I got another motion alert. 